Okay, so I'm guessing you need help on defense. If not, still watch this video, you might learn a few things. But yeah, before we start, I do want to let you guys know I'm hosting another giveaway on this video because we didn't hit the like goal in the last video. So yeah, let's try to get this video to 300 likes. I think we can do it. Like the video and subscribe to the channel, then comment Defensive Beast when you're done. And I'm gonna go through the comments and pick out a winner for the season pass giveaway. Okay, so we're gonna start off with defensive end. That's the build. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys a example first to show y'all. All right, so look, you see I'm pushing him back. I'm pushing him back. So when we get to the touchdown, he's kind of like struggling to move. You know what I'm saying? Now watch this. Watch this. I got him. I got a safety. You know what I'm saying? So you got to keep pushing, but you can't like push too hard because then you're going to end up going like you're going to end up getting juked. So yeah. So for the second example, I'm using a different technique. I'm using my back and shift lock. See, look, perfect. I'm going to be honest. My favorite technique is that right there where like you're going back and you're in shift lock. All right. So when the guy has offensive lineman, you got to try to get off the block. I know a lot of people struggle with that. So yeah. You gotta like try to avoid him blocking you so like run around him and try to block him away I, he blocked me pretty good so yeah you gotta just try to get away from the block and there you go i got the tackle i got the sack i mean my bad all right so i'm gonna be honest here's why this technique is the best you could get off blocks way quicker shift lock and look back like this look i got off the box way quicker look at that look at that now i'm abusing the offensive lineman and there we go i get the sack so yeah my favorite technique is the second technique where like you're looking back so yeah, on this one, we got two defensive ends. If you got a friend in your lobby, y'all do this. Y'all play sides. Y'all look at the two hashes in the middle. One of y'all get on the right, one of y'all get on the left, and y'all keep pushing back until the QB has nowhere to go. So yeah, but that's only if you have a friend or somebody in chat willing to play um, 2Ds. So yeah, y'all y'all try to capitalize on those 2Ds. So yeah, for the second example, look at this. Look at this. He has nowhere to go. He has nowhere to go. He's struggling. He's struggling. Then we get the sack. So yeah, y'all work together. Third example, I boom him out of the freaking end zone. So yeah, y'all y'all know what I'm saying? Do this. This is the best way to get the QB confused, you know, struggling. So yeah, use two Ds. All right, so for the de defensive back, a lot of people don't know how to play cornerback. That's the build that I use. So yeah, let's get a, let's get right into it. Let's show an example. Okay, so I like to play back some, you know what I'm saying? I don't like to play up because you get burned. So watch this. The QB throws and I'm looking, I attack the ball and I get the interception. But the thing is, it's not all about intercepting. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you might have to get the tackle. So yeah, but for this example, I got the interception and I attacked the ball. I paid attention. I was waiting for the quarterback and I, you know what I'm saying? I got the end. Okay, so if you're struggling to read the quarterback here. Okay, so I'm playing quarterback and I'm just trying to show y'all how to read the quarterback. So look, if you're playing um, defensive back, you can look at the quarterback and see what way he's looking. So let's say that's wide receiver one on the left and that's wide receiver two on the right. Pay attention as a cornerback and look. And then that's how you know where he's throwing to. So pay attention. Look at the quarterback eyes. You know what I'm saying? Pay attention. So yeah. All right. For this third example, you know what I'm saying? Look at this. Look at this. Watch this. I'm I'm ready. He does a little comeback and I was ready. I was about to boom him. So yeah. Y'all have to be ready. Pay attention to the quarterback. Pay attention to the wide receiver. Okay. So for this example, right, I'm on him. He does a little comeback and I get the tackle. It's not all about getting the interception. Sometimes you just got to settle less and get the tackle. So, yeah. All right, watch this. Look at this. Look at this. I'm ready. All right, so look. He does like a little cut, and I dive. I didn't get the interception, but that's just an example to show you. You always got to be ready. All right, so for this little example, watch this. Watch this. He hits me with a little right slant, and I dive, and I get the interception. You got to you gotta be on goal, man. You got to be ready to get the ints, bro. So, yeah. I just got to keep paying attention, man. Like, when the QB is about to throw it, bro, just pay attention, bro. And dive, you know what I'm saying? Attack the ball. So, yeah. All right. So, in this example, right, the QB is, like, kind of, you know, looking, looking, and looking. And then I dive. And I didn't get the end. So, I know, like, it's not all about getting the end, but sometimes you might not come out with the ball. So, that was right there. That was just showing you. Sometimes you might not come out with it. You just got to be happy. You know what I'm saying? Keep playing the game. Have fun. So, yeah. All right. So, watch this. That time I actually got the interception. You know why? I had the better angle and I attacked the ball. And the other clip, I didn't have the best angle. The wide receiver had the best angle. So all he had to do was just dive. I had to try to get to the right a little more. But right there, I had the best angle. So yeah, sometimes it's about the angles as well. Okay, so for this example, right, the wide receiver is coming up, you know? All right, so I don't know where he's going. I'm guessing he's probably just going straight back. So I'll just go straight back with him. QB throws it deep, and I get the end. I was ready, you know? So he didn't do any cuts there, and I just, I thought he was going to do a few cuts, but he didn't. So he just went straight back, and I went straight back with him, and I attacked the ball. So yeah, 
I think the QB threw a little bit low too. So I was more alert and ready. So yeah. All right. So in this clip, the QB just tosses it and I miss it. And you know why? I didn't have the best angle. I didn't have the best angle at all. So yeah. All right. In this clip right here, you know, I'm ready for the wide receiver. I'm playing back like five yards and I'm ready. I think he's going to toss it. So yeah, I'm, I'm paying attention. I'm ready for the QB to throw it. He tosses it and I head top him. You see, I had the best angle. You have to angle it. You, you know what I'm saying? You got to attack the ball. You can't, you know, you can't early. You have to time it perfectly. So, yeah, if y'all need to learn how to catch, go watch my wide receiver tutorial that I dropped a few months ago. I'll put that in the description or comments. I'll put that somewhere so y'all can watch that. It's my wide receiver tutorial. It'll teach y'all how to angle and attack the ball and just how to be a better wide receiver. But also, it's, it'll teach you how to catch. So, and you need to know how to catch when you're playing um, cornerback. So, yeah, in this clip, I early. And that's, you know what I'm saying? That's why you can't early or you'll miss the ball. Okay, so in this clip, this is end zone coverage. When you're playing end zone coverage, you can't miss a beat. You got to be ready. Because if you miss a beat, that's touchdown. You're done for. So, yeah, this is just complete lockdown. The cute, the wide receiver can't go anywhere. I'm on everything he goes to. Look at that. And the QB settles for less. Throws not complete because, you know what? His wide receiver is locked down. So, yeah, in this clip right here, I got burned. But... I angle it and I get the interception. Sometimes you just gotta attack the ball and you know hope for the best. And I thought I was gonna get you know touchdown on, but I actually got the interception. So yeah, you just gotta hope for the best. So yeah. All right. In this clip, a fade is thrown. I attack the ball, but not only that though, I had the best angle. I think the wide receiver was like all the way in the out of bounds area, so he really couldn't catch that one. You know. So yeah. I called it, but yeah, the wide receiver kind of messed up a little bit and was in the out of bounds area, but it, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes people make mistakes, but yeah. All right, so now I'm about to teach you guys how to play middle linebacker and like how to QB spy, but running back spy as well. So they're playing with a running back, right? So I got to get off this guy's blocks. I, I try, I'm trying to run away from his blocks and I get to tackle. So basically what you're trying to do is you can't dive, like you can't dive. Because the thing is, if you dive, they're going to get the touchdown. So the thing is, you got to just keep running until you get them, like now. I got dived on the floor and I got him. So you gotta like try to keep avoiding the blocks, but you can't like let the running back outrun you if you know what I mean. See, see watch this. I got off the blocks. I, I didn't dive. See, look, I didn't dive there. Most people would have dived there and I waited and I tackled them. See, y'all just be diving for no reason. So don't be diving for no reason. See right here, this is kind of like middle range coverage. So like I was playing like all the way in the back because I didn't want them to score and I got the tackle. Like, I almost didn't get the tackle, but he jumped over me, but I got the tackle. So right there is a great example of why you shouldn't really play like up too high. All right, this is a great example of, you know, just like locking the guy up, waiting for him to catch it and getting the tackle. But you can't let them get too much yards. So for example, right here, right? So I knew I had to get a stop. And that's exactly what I did. I knew I had to get a stop. Because if I didn't, they would have scored because they were close to the touchdown area. But yeah, if this video helped you, please like the video and please subscribe to my channel. Also, yeah. Okay, so my biggest advice is just to have fun ultimate football. You know what I'm saying? This game will be the biggest game on Roblox. I know it because this community is one of the best communities ever. We got the best developers, the best staff team. This game is amazing, man. I just want to keep seeing this game grow. I love to see it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I hope this video helped a lot of people because I want people to get better at the game. But, yeah, really, thank you for watching. I really appreciate all the support. I just hit a million views. That is a huge milestone for me. And my next goal is to, you know, hit 5,000 subscribers, which I'm very close to. So, yeah, I just want to thank you all for all the support that I've been getting lately. But, yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in another one.